Hey everyone! So from the title of the video, you can see I'm gonna be attempting a vlog this weekend. Today it's Friday at like 4.30, 5 right now. Um, and I wanna vlog a little bit this weekend. I wanna try to do something different. I have been like super into watching vlogs right now. That's kind of been my thing. I think it's because I've been kind of self-quarantining. So I'm like, oh, I wanna see something else. I don't go out a lot. Um, unless I'm just needing to buy stuff. So I have been really enjoying just watching other people's lives. And so I'm like, you know what? I think I can, I think I can try this. I'm gonna attempt it this weekend. Um, I'm not totally sure. I have a couple ideas of things that I'll include. Um, I am gonna be filming this weekend as well. So I'll try to show you a little bit of my setup in case you're interested. Um, but yeah, I figured I would just go ahead and vlog. If this is something that you like, definitely let me know down in the comments. I've been kind of toying with the idea of creating a second channel where I do more vlogs and things that are not subscription box related. There will be two or three subscription boxes that I will unbox in this video. I'll timestamp them down below. If a vlog isn't your thing and you just wanna see subscription boxes unboxed, I got you and they are down in the description box if you just wanna to skip to those moments. I also obviously like unbox a ton of different boxes on my channel, so I've been trying to find creative ways of you know, bunching some of them together in videos so that I don't have double uploads. I had like one week where I had double uploads every day and it, you miss some of them because YouTube doesn't always show them and they don't do as well and everything and it's a lot of stress on me because I work a full-time job uh, besides YouTube, so it just creates a lot of stress. So I'm trying to find creative ways new content. I'm still going to be doing subscription boxes uh, because I'm absolutely obsessed with them, but I just want to try to do something different. So definitely know, did I say that right? I don't know. It's Friday, so I have Friday brain, but definitely know, let me know. <laughs> definitely let me know your thoughts down below. Hopefully you'll get to see a little bit more of my personality as well, which I know you guys um, are into. I don't always show that in my videos. So we're giving vlogging a go. So I am done with work for the week. I'm waiting for my sister to get home. She'll probably get home in like 30 minutes. Probably gonna cook a HelloFresh tonight. I've been doing HelloFresh basically ever since I did the videos way back when. I just haven't been doing the videos because honestly, that's a lot of work. I just don't have time. So today you'll see a little bit of HelloFresh cooking. I also ordered a Misfits Market that's gonna be delivered tomorrow. I'm gonna do a separate video on that, but I um, may show a little bit about that. It was supposed to come today, but I got an email that it's not coming until tomorrow. So it is what it is, can't control it right now. Um, so I'm waiting for that. You'll probably see me cook here in a minute, and I think I'm gonna go water my plants. Before I go water my plants really quick, I wanted to show you two things. So I got some, Fabric Fund does like their summer sale or whatever. Um, and I ordered some stuff and I got two different packages because some of the, I, they have clothes now. Um, so I want to show you two of the things that I got. They're both kind of jackets. The first one is this denim jacket here, but on the back it has FabFitFun embroidered. Is that not like the coolest thing ever? For somebody who's like super into subscription boxes, I think that's fun. Um, so if any of you guys shopped FabFitFun summer sale and got this, you'll have to let me know. That's what it looks like. I'm wearing shorts right now, so this is kind of like a Canadian tuxedo moment, <laughs> but in two different colors of denim. So anyway, I thought that that was super cool. Oh my gosh, I still have a tag on it. How many, I already took tags off of this. This has a million tags, I hate that. Anyway, so I got that. And then the other thing that I got, clothing-wise, and to be honest, I put away the other add-ons that I bought, I don't even remember anymore, is, you know me, I love blazers. This is like, I don't know if this is satin, silk, whatever. It's a blazer. And I just thought, wow, this is like cool. It's a statement piece. Where will I wear this? I don't know yet, but I literally could not resist. This is definitely not what I would wear it with. It is like a longer blazer. There's my legs. Whoop, there's my new tattoo. Um, so anyway, you'll see that in my quarterly favorites video if you want to get a better look. Actually, it might be in when I'm planning watering my plants, you might see it. I don't know. So anyway, I got this blazer. Um, so yeah, did you guys shop the FabFitFun like summer edit sale? What is, is that what they call it? I don't know. If you did, um, let me know in the comments below what you got. Yesterday I actually went to Lowe's and I got some new plants because I totally needed more, right? I finally got a fiddle leaf fig. I've been really wanting a fiddle leaf fig and it like barely fits in this pot. So I'm probably gonna have to get a new pot for it, but I don't know. I really wanted a fiddle leaf fig. This one was 20 bucks at Lowe's. So if you've been wanting one, they have really big ones, um, but they're like $130 and like that's just not happening, honestly. But I got this one for 20. Um, do you guys have uh, like a lot of plants? Cause let me tell you, this video is gonna have a lot of plants in it. I am also wor working on water propagating this plant. I don't know, the actual plant is right here. So I trimmed this back the other day because it was like totally getting out of hand, that plant there. I need to reorganize these shelves. Um, but yeah, I'm water propagating that. Um, so we'll see how that does. 
I also got this plant. This is probably gonna like be really weird in the camera because it's showing up really weird. I got that on Amazon in case you're wondering. Um, I also got this. I think it's like string of bananas. I thought it was really cool. I don't know. I love these kind of plants. I love little viney plants. So I went ahead and got that too. This one was I think 11. It was a little bit more expensive, but I literally fell in love with it. And then it's in like one of the Horty um, planters because I had little extra ones available. So originally when I redid my, or like decorated my balcony, I was gonna try to film a video about it. <laughs> Just didn't happen. I filmed like the first clip and then, Sometimes that happens. If you make YouTube videos, you know that sometimes you just start a video and the momentum just falls off, things come up, but I'll give you like a mini tour. Probably won't show you the whole thing because it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I'll at least show you my plants. So I bought this and I haven't even put a single plant in it yet, so I need to figure it out, but it's like, it's gonna work as a little greenhouse. But anyway, I have some cucumbers here and I planted pretty late this year, so I don't have any, any growth yet, no actual, I can't ant. Anton, what's that in English? Harvest, I can't harvest anything. Got some peppers here, cherry tomatoes, basil, chives, which are not doing good at all, so I need to move them, cilantro. These are probably some bigger tomatoes, and then a ton of basil. I have a couple smaller plants over here. These are plants I'm trying to save, extra pots and stuff. And I, I got this workbench thing because I just really wanted like a gardening workbench. I got it on Amazon, and then I bought like outdoor stain for it, so yeah. I really really love that workbench and I figured like I figured I'd buy it because even if I don't have like a balcony in my next place or a place to put it I feel like I could use it as like a mini bar or something at home like if it's wiped down you know obviously there's still like pollen residue and stuff but I also I tried to plant like a little um I got one of those papers that's supposed to grow wildflowers and nothing happened with it so I need to plant something else in here what have you guys if you this is like the llama planter from Globin have you planted something in it because I don't know what to plant in it okay it's time to make dinner. I sat down and that was a mistake. I'm in pajama pants now. I've been watching, um, if you watch Hot Mess Mama MD, she does like subscription box unboxing videos. I, she has a vlog channel and I have been obsessed with watching her vlogs and she's always in her pajamas. She's probably not watching this, but if you are, hi. Uh, she has like these cupcake pajamas that are really cute. Mine are not that cute. They're just like navy blue with gold. I don't know, whatever. I live in pajama pants um, nowadays since I don't leave the house. But anyway, I'm gonna cook dinner. I think my sister's gonna be home in like 30 minutes. So, we got hella fresh. I'm gonna be making the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken with mashed potatoes and roasted carrots today. I'll show you like a little bit of the cooking. I probably won't show you the full process because <laughs> I literally just almost fell asleep when I sat down. So, that's a problem. I might make some tea later to kind of give me that extra bit of energy. I think I have a coupon code for this. I just checked the app on my phone and I think it said that you can get $40 off your first box if you sign up with my code. So if you want to try HelloFresh, I will leave that down below. Let's get cooking before I fall asleep. All right, so my dad FaceTimed me. So now I'm even further behind schedule, not like I have a schedule anyway. So this is all the stuff that you get with it. It comes with everything, not those things. Uh, everything that you need to make, which is makes it like super duper easy, which is, I've been doing it pretty much this whole quarantine. It's just made my life so much easier, so let's get cooking. So I'm about halfway through cooking. My sister got home, I'm a little behind schedule because my dad FaceTimed me, threw me off. I, I don't have a schedule, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But anyway, we got the chicken going in the pan here. We got the potatoes going for the mashed potatoes. There's gonna be a mushroom sauce. And then in the oven, we have some carrots. So that's what it's looking like so far. All right, so here is the finished result. You got the chicken with the mushroom sauce on it. Potatoes, I put some of the mushroom sauce on. Then roasted carrots, which I kind of burnt, but whatever. So I'm in trouble because I forgot to put the cheese on and I'm already halfway through eating and my sister loves cheese and I forgot to put the cheese on. So make sure you read the instructions. <laughs> All right, we just finished eating. She, oh no, she's over here. She's still mad at me for not adding the cheese. Um, but one thing I wanna show you, so um, I like to save all of my HelloFresh recipes, and this is gonna sound like super duper simple, but I have a binder of them with like the little protective, you know, these little plasticky things. I 
I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I actually found out about it. I watch a lot of German YouTube because I'm German and I've been watching Donya Slimani for years and she showed that she had a little binder with these in it. I'm like, wow, why did I not think of that sooner? So anyway, I save all of the recipes that I really like in this binder. That way, if I want to cook without getting a HelloFresh, I have all the information that I need. So just got done eating and I decided to play, a little, I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, I kind of haven't played in three weeks and just started playing again today. So if you play Animal Crossing at all, you know that if you leave, if you don't play for a while, everyone's like, oh, when you talk with the other characters, it's like, where were you? You've been gone. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. What do you want? Hey, 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 hey. So yeah, I'm gonna play. There's the new diving feature, which like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it's kind of boring. Did any of you guys play Animal Crossing? Um, ooh, a fish. Oh, I wrote down my notes about July's fish so Rachel can laugh at me for being a nerd. I should go find that. Every month they come up with like new fish and bugs that you can collect and I always watch um, Geekism's video on it and then write them down so I know like where, when they spawn, where they spawn, and how much money you can sell them for. But I literally just caught a dace, which is the most boring fish on the world in this game. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna play a little bit of Animal Crossing. back this is normally to be honest how I wear my hair literally all day but I understand that for camera this doesn't look fabulous but anyway um I played Animal Crossing for a little bit I got bored honestly I think I'm just kind of over that game but I'm gonna take a bath tonight um and shake my legs TMI so I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup take off this jewelry and then I have this bath bomb I'm gonna use that I got in the lavish one for May for staycation I still haven't gotten the June one yet but I think of shipping for it. I don't know. They're having a lot of shipping delays because of, you know, everything going on. So we're going to see what this will do to the tub. Um, I don't have a ton of makeup on today. I literally just put the Pure Least BB cream mas and mascara and some powder and some concealer. That was a longer <laughs> list than anticipated, but whatever. I am taking a bath. Then I think I might edit a little bit and I don't know, watch a movie, something. I'm not really sure, but let's get this makeup off and get my booty in the bath. So it's kind of foamy, but this is the final bath water color. It is so pretty and I'm so excited to get in. As a side note, when I take a bath, this is my setup. So I have my bath right here. I put like this like thing here and just put my laptop on top and watch from the bath here so that I can watch something while I sit because otherwise I get way too bored and I sit in the bath five minutes and waste a bath bomb. I've really been enjoying watching somebody feed Phil. Um, I, li I like food shows so and travel shows, so I've been really enjoying that. Let me know in the comments what Netflix shows or Disney Plus shows do you like right now? All right, so I just got out of the bath. I am fully aware of how ridiculous I look with this on my head, but it just helps dry my hair. I wash my hair after the bath as well. Um, I tend to, wa I usually take showers and wash my hair in the morning, but when I'm gonna film the next day, which I only do once or twice a week, I like to film the night before so that I don't have to wait for my hair to dry the next day. So anyway, I am in the mood for a cup of tea, so I figured now would be a good time to unbox my Sips By for July. All right, so here is the Sips By box. This is the way it comes. If you don't watch my videos, this box is a tea subscription. You get four different kinds of teas um, for $15 a month. I do have a code down below where you can get your first box for 10 bucks. It is a personalized subscription, so um, you fill out a profile and everything. And this this is sent to me for review. The HelloFresh, by the way, from earlier, I, I paid for that on my own. Um, so it says, made for Katrina. It talks about the different teas there, which we'll get to. So um, the first tea, you get like packs. There's four, usually four of each. So this is the, wow, I can't get my life together. The ba, 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 Black Currant Beauty Tea by Puka. It's caffeine free, has black currants. Swirl with a sweetly dark beetroot, hibiscus, and hip rose hips. Breathe life from inside out while the mellow fruitiness of the orange peel protects. Oh, this is this one steeps for 15 minutes, um, 212 degrees. That's a long steep. 
Um, the next one are these four. These look different and interesting. So these are the Maple Rubois Tea by Cedar Bros. That sounds really good, actually. Cap it's caffeine-free. I like caffeine-free teas, and actually it looks like all of mine are caffeine-free this month. So this is a hearty Cedar Boss Maple Rubois Tea. It's warm and comforting, naturally caffeine-free, an antioxidant-rich drink with lightly sweet and spicy flavors. This one is you steep three to five minutes at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So that one sounds really yummy. Then we have a loose leaf. Wow, this one is like, it looks like a spice, right? So this is by Evergreen Chai and this is their golden turmeric chai. Again, caffeine free. So it's earthy and buttery notes of turmeric with heat from ginger and peppercorns and a hint of Himalayan pink salt. Enjoy this caffeine free chai any time of the day. So this is a packet for instructions. So you heat four fluid ounces of water, add one tablespoon of chai blend and stir. And then you can pour over hot or iced milk. I actually have milk. I normally don't buy milk, to be honest, because I just it goes bad before I can use it. So maybe I'll make a chai tonight. That might be really yummy. Oh, wow, this one's cool, too. So this is a rosemary mint tea by uh, Tealira, I don't know. Caffeine-free again, steep four to five minutes at 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then rosemary mint is a winning blend of savory and sweet natural calming properties. It has floral and fresh aroma with digestive, respiratory, and anti-inflammatory benefits. Yum. And then, oh, normally it comes with like a little satchel for the, this one's not loose leaf, for the loose leafy type things, but I guess this one isn't technically loose leaf because you just, you just mix this in. So I guess there was no need for those extra satchels this month. Okay, ignore my kitchen mess and the fact that I'm being cut off. I don't feel like finding a tripod right now. Um, I, I really want the chai, but I think I might be too lazy to make the chai. But I think I'm gonna do the chai because that's something totally different. Like I haven't gotten a chai in my um, sip so box before. If you get this box, let me know. Did you get the chai and did you like it? Or what teas did you get? I'm curious to hear. Okay, don't mind my hair. I literally just took it out of the wrap, but I did make the chai. I had the energy to, and it tastes really good. Like, really good for at home. I think I have my ratio off. I think I did a little bit too much milk. I would prefer more chai flavor, but I love chai, and this is really good. I'm really excited. So I think I'm gonna edit this vlog actually a little bit and then maybe watch a show with my sister and eat some ice cream or popcorn. I'm not sure which one yet. All right, so I'm back where I started. Um, edited a little bit and now I'm watching TV or about to watch TV with my sister Popped a bowl of popcorn in my little globe in bowl here that I think I'll share with her We've been really loving this show. It's not Yukon vet. It's dr. Oakley Yukon vet Yeah, dr. Oakley Yukon vet on Disney plus we have been binge watching this show every single night for like the past two weeks so it's a real it's like a vet show like a wilderness vet type of show situation if you're not good with blood don't watch it um because you do watch like live surgeries or big chunks of it so if that's something that you can't handle then definitely don't watch that show but we've really been enjoying it so i am now going to put the camera down for the night and i will see you in the morning good morning i'm back where you found me yesterday i've been up for a little bit just made myself a coffee i love this mug that we got in fat fit fun like years ago i am waiting to watch the formula one qualifying for the Styrian grand prix if you don't know, I'm really into Formula One, and I know that probably most people that watch this don't may not even know what that is, but it's just a form of racing. Um, the practice before this got canceled because of rain, so I don't even know if I'm really gonna be watching this, but it starts, the coverage starts at 8.55, and it's like 8.50 right now, so I am prepped and ready to watch. Checking back in, so obviously I look a little bit different, I'm in a different place now. Qualifying got delayed by like almost an hour, so I'm like an hour behind schedule i have no schedule um so now i'm gonna work on filming so just wanted to show you a little bit of my setup um this is gonna be changing though uh i haven't brought this up on my channel yet but my sister is gonna be moving out in about a month um no problems with us living together it's just time for her to spread her wings get her own place learn to be an adult because i i do take care of her a lot so i will be transforming her room into my filming room and if you'd like a video on that in the future please let me know i have the tardis pro palette birthday suit lipstick by Tarte on. I'm filming my quarterly favorites today and then some other subscription boxes, but let's take a look at my setup. So this is what it looks like. I have my bed in the background. I have a ring light, my tripod. Obviously my camera's not on it right now because I'm using it. And then a softbox light. I normally have two, but one of mine broke and I need to order more light bulbs and this, that, and the other. So today I'm just using the one, but I'm thinking that the lighting's okay today. And then I just have my makeup table behind me. Um, there, I just have like pajama shorts on because 
can't be bothered. So that's kind of my setup right now. But again, like I said, I will definitely um, take you along for the journey as I transform that room into an actual filming space, which will be super nice. Obviously, because this is in my bedroom, I have to set it up and take it down every single time I want to film. So I only film usually like one day a week right now. My plan is when I have the filming room, I can film maybe a little bit more. Totally depends. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get filming. I think I have six videos I want to film right now. And then I'm going to film up maybe a couple more tomorrow because I have a couple more things coming. But um, I will get filming and then check back in with you afterwards. All right, so I just got done filming. As you see, I'm in a different shirt. So I, because I film like a ton of videos in a day, I just it filmed six. I like to like wear one shirt per two videos or three depending on how many I have. So now I've switched shirts. I think this is just going to be the shirt that I wear the rest of the day. Now I have all of that mess down below. I like this is where I take pictures of the boxes. I just filmed for two hours and it's one o'clock though. So I might try to eat lunch. I do also have a variety fun box that I'm going to open on in this video in a second instead of filming a separate video. So I might have some snacks there to try, but I'm going to probably try to have a quick snack and then take pictures of all of the boxes, which takes a lot of time as well. And then I'm going to just relax for a little bit because I feel like it's been go, 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 go today. So this is how I take my Instagram pictures. I know my lighting is not great in my videos, but I do actually have a softbox light on today because I'm filming later in the day. So if you haven't heard of Variety Fun, they are a monthly or you can get them two times a month actually. Snack subscription, it is $24.99 a month for 40 snacks. And this is everything that you get. It's a ton. They do also have a healthy one, which is $39. 99 for, with 30 snacks, um, but they do send this to me and I would probably pick the healthy one if I got the choice But they just send it to me. So these are my snack options These I don't think I've ever gotten they're extra crunchy though And I prefer the puffed but th th like I need a snack I'm gonna still have to cook right but I need something to hold me over what's gonna hold me over What I really want is a fruit roll-up, but like honestly, <laughs> I don't need sugar there's also Chex Mix. I love Chex Mix or the popcorn. Uh, there's a Ritz with the... I'm getting excited. Um, hmm. Let's see. What do I want? Okay, I think I'm just going to go with these because I really want to see how they taste. Okay, I'm sitting on my bed. My bed's a mess. Let me eat some of these before I take other pictures of my boxes. Let's see how these taste. That's it. That is a chunky one. They're right about the extra crunchy. They taste really good. Um, definitely get the cheesiness, but there's a little bit of sweetness there too, which is really nice. So I'm gonna wolf these down and then keep taking pictures of the boxes and then try to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch. I have a HelloFresh leftover that I can make. All right, I relaxed slash edited, so I didn't fully relax. And guess who is lucky because her lovely, lovely sister cooked the HelloFresh for her. So let me show you. So this is the, I think it's, is it the Parmesan crusted chicken? Yeah, and it has paprika, um, yeah, paprika and Parmesan. And then roasted carrots and couscous. This is one of my absolute favorite meals from HelloFresh. I get it almost every time that it's available. So if you do decide to, if you have HelloFresh or you decide to sign up, definitely you should try this one. All right, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. It's a little bit later. It's like six o'clock or almost, I think six o'clock now. Took my makeup off, my skin looks, <laughs> it needs help. Um, just been editing and filming and doing that kind of stuff. I've been, I hope I don't have plum in my teeth because I've been snacking on the plums that I got in the Misfits Market box that I posted yesterday, I think. I think that's the schedule. When you guys are watching this, when I upload this, it'll have been yesterday. They were really, really good despite the fact that one of them was kind of smushed. But, um, probably just gonna kind of relax most of the night. So I will end it here. So let me know down in the comments below, do you like these vlogs? Is this something you want to see? And should I make a second channel to put this on? I think that might be a better place if you guys really do want to see it. So definitely let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.